I know that you are a liar and a freak. And I know the monster is in there. Where is he, Manny? Where are you hiding him? This game you're playing, it's not going to work. You're going to spend the rest of your life in prison, and the only time you're going to leave is when they bury you. And that cannot be soon enough for me. You are pathetic. Do you know that? How does it feel? How does it feel to be the helpless one now? You have no say. No control. Your fate is in my hands. Huh? How do you like that? You want me? What? You got it. I'm the one who has you. You are the same piece of garbage you always were. You know what I love about you, sweetie? What's that? Huh? You know me so well. Get your hands off of me! Get off! Oops. You okay? Did I, did I make a boo-boo? Get off. Get off. Get off. You pitch. You set me up. So now, sweetness, you're gonna get to know me a whole lot better. What's going on? I don't know. She came in here and she ripped her block. Now that is a lie. And I guess she wanted me to attack her so she could put... Where did you did attack me? You pulled your whole fake personality shift, you piece of slime. Oh, okay, okay, Sam, unless you have proof... You I do have proof. Are... Rick, thank you for... Th Manny, he threw the phone when he realized that I was recording it. I don't know... Good. It's still working. Now everyone can see how dangerous you really are. I know. tried to entrap my client. That is not how it happened. He says that she provoked him. She says that he assaulted He her. did assault me! Will you look at my blouse? It is ripped! He claims that she ripped it. Of course he did! He's covering! Sam, you recorded the whole <sighs> thing on your phone. You did? Yes, I did. And guess what? Manny smashed my phone when he realized I was recording him attacking me. Sam, we both know that that's not what happened. Why can you people see that he is lying? Sam, I'm going to advise you not to approach my client again. It is not something you Yeah, well, guess what? That psychopath is not going to get back on the street so he can terrorize more innocent people. Sam, Sam, you're not helping the prosecution's case. The jury is going to see you as completely biased. Well, guess what, Durant? I am biased. That man is a lying pig, and I'm going to prove it. You get a chance to tell your story on the stand. Court is reconvening. I mean, you heard Dr. Scorpio testify about the AV malformation in Mr. Louise's brain that caused his aggression. She also stated that he had an operation which alleviated this condition and made him essentially a different man. I'm not a doctor. Well, no, but you do have a brother who suffered a serious brain injury. Objection, Your Honor, this line of inquiry has no relevance to the case. I intend to prove relevance. I'll allow it. Please continue. Thank you. 
can you tell us about your brother jason isn't it a fact that he had no memory at all of even being your brother after his accident and surgery yes how do you characterize your brother before the accident he was in medical school he was close to his family um preppy <laughs> a preppy medical school student the golden boy of one of the wealthiest families in the state would that be accurate yes and yet he threw this whole life away dropped out of medical school he cut himself off from his family and he started working for sunny corinthos the family was smothering him they were trying to force him into being the person he was before the accident but they couldn't do it no were there any noticeable changes in jason's personality a little less outgoing he was more reserved more cold-blooded more ruthless. no rick i didn't say that he is your brother objection your honor defense is practically stuffing words into the witness's mouth Objection sustained. Rephrase your question. Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Did anybody ever question the change in your brother or think that he was faking it? No. Okay, so in essence, you're saying that a person's character can be completely altered as a result of a brain trauma, that they can, in effect, become a different person. Objection, Your Honor. Defense continues to lead the witness. Did this man even go to law school? I will withdraw, Your Honor, and yes, Harvard. Thank you. Summa cum laude. No more questions. You may step down. Call your next witness. Thank you, Your Honor. The defense calls Sam McCall. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Jason Morgan's fiance, is that correct? Yes. Did you know him before the accident? M M Manny Ruiz is not it's Jason Morgan. You can't really yes compare or no, the two please. No, call. you keep I... hammering away about his accident. Jason is a good man. Answer the question, please. No, I did not know Jason before the accident. So you expect this court to believe that you're intimate with a man, yet you know nothing about the enormous change? Yeah, I really don't care what the court believes. Answer the question, Ms. McCall. Answer, uh, Jason, we just said, had brain damage, so no, we have not talked about his life before. He does not remember it. Did Mr. Morgan talk to you about what he does for a living? He's a coffee importer. That's interesting, because Mr. Morgan's been arrested for murder, for attempted murder, for arson, and a warehouse bombing. Do those sound like the activities of a no. coffee importer? He has never been convicted of any of those charges. Ms. McCall, I'm going to remind you that you're under oath, and a failure to tell the truth may result in a charge of perjury. Now, isn't it true that Jason Morgan is a professional killer? people your clients not as a job he kills for sick sadistic pleasure order in the car he tried to hunt me down he threatened to rape me your honor the witness's statement is highly prejudicial and has absolutely nothing to do with the question that she was just asked miss mccall you're edging close to contempt of court but manny terrorized me over and over again and then he attacked me in the holding room look at my shirt he ripped it But you know what, Manny? You are a pathetic coward who is hiding behind a brain injury. Are you getting this down over there? Manny no, no, Ruiz is a, is a little man who is all talk and no action. Nicole, I order you to stop. Who couldn't finish what he started. 